a lot of people say that piece was a mea culpa from the New York Times for running that story on October 31st, a week before the election, saying FBI sees no direct links between Trump and Russia. The story says the FBI has been investigating the Trump campaign for several months over these suspicious ties, but as of yet, they found no links. Had we led with that, Right? I think that nobody would have said, oh, well, you, you got the story wrong. Some people will say it a different The problem election. was the framing, right? The problem was the framing of the story. And at that time, what we were hearing from the FBI and law enforcement in general was, look, yes, there's an investigation, but don't get over your skis on what we found. Because we now know they were getting ready to close out their investigation of Michael Flynn. They didn't have the goods on Papadopoulos. Uh, you know, Manafort was shaping up as a, as a criminal case, and really Page was just getting off the ground, but he had been a known commodity for several years. So they were just saying, just don't get over your skis. And just like the FBI was concerned and the Justice Department was concerned that anything they did was going to influence the election, I, I think it's fair to say that, you know, all the reporters and the editors were also concerned. Like, well, what are, are we going to influence an election when we only know this much? I wouldn't say that I feel like the FBI fucked us yeah. or that anybody in law enforcement fucked us. One, because it's not their job to decide what we lead with. Right? Right. Ultimately, I think we made a decision as a newspaper to lead with that. And if we're going to get criticized for that, that's fair. We say in the story that we've been criticized for that. But I think ultimately we have to make, we own our decisions. You know, uh, we have to own, own what we lead with.